last day here and basically we are getting ready to leave like I said last night sad and last night Gia and Serge slept over again oh my god do you hear footsteps it's my mom and uh, speaking of footsteps, yes, so they slept over last night and we were supposed to tell embarrassing stories, but we ended up telling ghost stories because this is an ancestry home and more than one person has had a paranormal experience here. Not me, thank God, I would have left so fast. And so they were telling me about everyone's stories and creepy, creepy. Even though they are probably nice spirits because they all died here peacefully, not murdered or anything. People died here peacefully, still creepy to experience or hear about apparitions and spirits. Why are you crying? I'm not. I just woke up. It's my dad. How do you feel about leaving? How I wish I could stay. But I have to work. Sad. But I'm sad, of course. And now that I see the place fully renovated, and after this renovation, we have a bonding with each other, with my sisters and everybody. And, and that's the uh, memories after renovating this house. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Dad was behind you. So yeah, there you have it. So we were telling ghost stories and creepy, and we didn't want to go to the bathroom by ourselves. <laughs> Even me, I don't believe in it, but I'm scared of it. Even I was like, I need to go to the bathroom quick and not stay there longer than like a minute. Oh, and some of the scary stories were in my own house. In my room. I don't know how to feel about that. And then afterwards, we were just like, okay, that's enough, that's enough. We told embarrassing stories, and it went from embarrassing stories to just stories in general, funny stories that happened to us. And it was a very nice bonding experience, like my mom said and I would love to come back. I'm glad this is what I can come to when I visit the Philippines. Someone's awake, but I don't think she wants me to film her because she just woke up. I'll film her back though, bam. You can guess who that is. And now we're gonna go back to Manila. Different place in Manila, I'll show you guys. Let's see what happens there. Goodbye to Gagarao. Let's do this. Our last breakfast here. Cash Cab Philippines, what? What? That's cool. We are gonna go visit a funeral to pay our last respects to the owners of this beautiful house. Funeral? Duh! We are on our way to a cemetery to pay our respects to the owners of this beautiful house. Keep saying things wrong. No, no smile. Yes, we're here. Oh, I just said we're here. Sorry, passing through. Passing through. Some loud music. Food and fruit time.
Goodbye, this house. Bye, Gia. All around me. <laughs> Smiling. Okay, see ya. Bye. We'll miss you. Say goodbye to the stars of my blog. Goodbye to the stars of your blog. Goodbye to the stars. So there goes half my content, but no worries, they're gonna try to continue it from here. Yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah. On my channel. We're gonna overlap. So bye! Jason, pagbalik mo, lalaki ka na. Dad, come on. <laughs> Off Bye, we go. Kid. So we've been waiting in this boarding gate for more than an hour because our gate, what? Because the boarding of the plane had been delayed and I think I'm sick. I've got a bit of a sore throat. I don't feel so good. I'm thirsty ah, and my head hurts. I think our plane just arrived though, so thank God. We're gonna go board that now and head out to Manila. This feels really awkward without my siblings behind me. I already miss them. My dad's here though. It's a tiny plane. Isn't that a small plane? I don't see that. You want me? Dad says it's like a bus. I got the window seat this time. Soon you will see a view. Dad, you're going the wrong way. Well, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Pausing traffic na. Hello viewers, my hair hasn't even dried yet. And yes, I am back in bad lighting. But I'm by myself. That's the bed. No Jason and Jay today. So there goes half my footage, as I mentioned. And I'm very sad about it. But I've only got a few more days here, and I gotta make the best of it. And Jade has claimed that she might be able to continue Philippine vlogs. So if that ever comes out, I will put the link below on the, below this video or on the video. I'll put the link somewhere where you guys can see it so you can go there. So today we visited a cemetery and paid our respects. We said goodbye to the cousins that we um, spent time with. I'm really sad though because I didn't actually get to say goodbye to Serge. So Serge, when you see this, bye, I'll miss you. And Kalel. I didn't get to say bye to Kalel, that really energetic four-year-old who loves calling her names and showing us tricks and smiling and screaming. I'm really sad that I didn't get to say goodbye to him in person because first off, I wanted to see how dramatic he would get. You guys saw that footage, right, when I said bye and then he like shrunk onto the bed? But I'm not here tomorrow. 
Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, I wanted to see that in real life, in real time, for real. Not just acting or trying to get it out of him, but like for real. Like I wanted to see him sad and I know it's horrible, but it's so cute. I can't help it. And I'm gonna miss him because he's got such a bright personality. So I'm really sad and I can say goodbye. But Kalel, if you see this, Kalel, goodbye from Tita Josh. I forgot to say goodbye to Shiro, freaking adorable little Canadian Filipino kid just like me, and Rihanna, his very smart sister. So to you two, goodbye for now. I'ma come visit you when you're all older. Actually, I'ma come visit you before you grow up because you're so both so cute right now. But next time we see each other for realsies, for realsies as in family get-togethers, you'll probably be older and wiser with kids, or with a job, or in high school, or something. Didn't get to say goodbye to Laika, just met her, she's so cute. And if you ever see this, goodbye for now, see you next time. Nicole, I'll see you again soon. We'll miss you, you're really fun, and come visit Vancouver. All these adorable kids, I can't wait to see you guys again. Any kid I've missed, goodbye for now, I'll see you next time. No one's gonna be the same the next time I see them. Not my aunties, not my uncles, not the kids. I'm not gonna be the same next time I come back, probably. I am excited and sad to be going home soon, but I have a few more days, and tomorrow I'm going to Alabang. Alabang? I am pretty sure I'm sick because it hurts. It's sore and it's tickly here. I've been coughing all day, and I just generally feel crappy, so I hope tomorrow I feel better. If not, I'll probably feel worse. Let's just see how that goes. Wish me luck. On that note, thank you for joining me on this journey. You guys are great. I hope you've been enjoying my vlog so far. I hope you've been liking it as much as I, li I have liked making them. And keep up the good work.